What's going on guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade the factory W204 climate control to the newer style W207 E-Class climate control. All that coming right up. First thing we're going to do is obviously remove this piece here. Now you don't have to remove everything in order to get to this piece. All you have to do is remove the surrounding bezel and also the climate control unit. All you're going to need is a pry tool and you need to get it in between here and pry it out. There are four push clips. There's one there, one there, one here and also another one here. But you just have to get a thin trim tool, push it in and then pry it out. You want to get it as close to the push clips as possible. That way you're not going to break anything. So that's two three and then the last one there we go four now we can just pull it out okay so there's four push clips here one two three four you want to get as close to these push clips as possible and then pry it out as for this unit all you do now is just wiggle it out and it comes right out that comes out in one piece then looking behind it there are three different plugs the plug on the end here is the easiest there's a push clip there and then you just lift it out these two are similar to the one for the instrument cluster there's a tab here you push on that tab and then you pull this back and then it unclips and comes out and same thing for this side press on the tab and you push it back like so and then it releases and that's it that's how you remove your climate control now what we're going to have to do is get our new climate control and make it fit so this is our new climate control we'll go over to the table and i'll show you guys exactly how i did this and also what i did to the surrounding bezel in order to get it to fit what we are doing here is taking the e-class climate control and fitting it into the W204 climate control bezel. Looking at the climate controls, they're completely different. So obviously we need to do a modification in order to get this to fit into this bezel because you cannot use this as it does not fit into the W204 cabin the way that the E-Class one does. They are a completely different setup. As you can see here, I've already trimmed everything to the right size so that it will fit perfectly. We no longer need the W204 climate control unit. So we're going to take that out. Now, as you can see, the shape is completely different. This is more of a rectangle shape and the old unit had two round dials on it. Looking at this carefully, I have already cut out four corners in order to make this fit. What I want to show you first is if you buy this inside the W207 surround, then you need to remove it first. So I'm going to show you how to remove this. All you need is like a flathead screwdriver, but I always prefer to use a plastic trim removal tool so you're not going to break anything or scratch anything. At the back here, you're going to see clips and that's what's going to release the uh, climate control from the surrounding bezel. There's a clip here, so you push down and you pu pull forward as you're pushing down on these clips. You've got one, two, three, four clips. So you pull it forward and you press down on the clips. You keep doing that until it slides out on the side here you've got one clip right there so you get your trim removal tool under there and then you pry that off and you pull it forward at the bottom you've got these two here so you pry them open and release it same thing with the other side here you've got a clip right here you can just lift it up and pull it forwards it will begin to unclip and come straight out we have released all the clips. There's one on each side here, and then there is two at the bottom. The ones at the top are push tabs. You push them down. The ones on the side, you have to pry because they clip over a tab. Once you get it all off, as you can see, it's basically loose now. There we go, completely released. Now that you have removed the E-Class climate control from its bezel, and you've also remove the bezel from your W204. We have to get the climate control to fit into our W204 surrounding bezel. Straight away, you can see that it isn't going to be a perfect fit, obviously because the old climate control was rounded on the edges. And this climate control is very square. 
it is a little bit of grinding that you have to do just to make it fit. I do stress that you want to take off just a little bit at a time so that you don't end up cutting it too big where it starts to look ridiculous. I will admit that it does not fit perfectly, but what you do after is what really matters. The main thing is to get this to fit. So let's start off with what you have to do to the climate control itself in order to get it to fit. This is what I did. Now, you may go about it differently and that's fine, but I just wanted to give you an idea of exactly what I did in order to get it to fit. The first thing I did was I held my climate control inside and I wanted to see what was in the way when I lined it up to where I wanted it to fit. I noticed that it had two tabs on the top that were like this and they were pointing out diagonal. As you can see from the picture above right now, I had to remove these these two tabs and also the two on the bottom that were here and here. There were also these other two little bits protruding right on the very ends on in each corner. Okay, so comparing it to the picture above and seeing what this looks like here. These are the four points that I cut off and then I just grinded it off so that it was flush. You can see how I cut off and grinded off these two points here. I did the same to the other side right here, right there. And at the top, I cut off the two other tabs that were in the corner right here. It is now flush with the climate control. That's all I did to the climate control itself. As for this bezel, there was quite a bit of work involved, but it was well worth it in the end. I lined it up again and I took a look for myself roughly where it lined up and I drew a mark where the top corners lined up and then I slowly took out the corners. This is how it fits. Look at that. That's pretty snug right now. There's hardly any gap there. It fits in perfectly, even at the top. Look at that. No gap at all. Same for this side here. Look at that gap right there. The other thing is, you also have to think about how you want to fill in the rest of the gaps. Because it wasn't made for the W204 surround, you're going to have a little bit of gaps on the sides here and at the top here as well. This is how mine looks at the moment. Now, if you're not too fussed about these gaps, I think it looks fine because once you install it, because everything is dark around there, it doesn't really stand out. And you know, you could probably just get away with just leaving it like this. Personally, I'm probably going to get some sort of thin plastic and then I'm going to either melt it and uh, stick it onto the back here so that once I carbon wrap it again, it will cover all these gaps. That's basically all you have to do. Once you get that done, it's just a matter of grinding out the parts that protrude and interfere with this fitting in snug with your surround. So in my case, if you have a look at what this bezel looks like originally, you'll see that it basically looked like this all around. It had all these little bits and pieces protruding. I cut this off completely there, flush, as you can see. Okay, that's what I've done. I grinded all this off here. And also I cut this part off here as well because it was very similar to this point here. See all these um, parts here that protrude right now? All those parts there. It was basically the same here. And I also had one of these, a piece like this, that was over here as well. I had to cut that off down as flat as possible so that when I fitted in the uh, climate control, it wouldn't be in the way and it could sit in flush with the surrounding bezel. You can see here how I've grinded off all this here, all that there, and a little bit over here. I've also taken off a little bit at the top here as well, as you can see right there. I cut a straight line down there and then I grinded off whatever was left there. I did the same to this side as well. What you do to one side, you're gonna to have to do to the other side as well. That's how I got the climate control to fit into the W204 bezel. Now, I can simply push it all in. It will not clip in. It wasn't designed for it, but I can tell you that it definitely fits. It fits in snug and it clips right in. Look at that. That is the final product right there, guys. 
But the only way you're going to get it to look like this is if you slowly take out these corners and try to mark it the best you can. I love the way the bottom lines up flush with it. I lined it up flush so that the bottom of the climate control was flush with the bezel. And then it was just a matter of getting the top to fit. I really think that it looks pretty good for what I've done. Like I said, it is totally up to you what you decide to do after whether you're going to use some sort of filler to fill the rest of this out and it won't show any of the little gaps and holes. I'll leave a link in the description below of the climate control that I bought. It is a 2014 model, but to tell you the truth, as long as the cables are exactly the same, taking a look at all the plugs, this is the W204 one and the plugs are exactly the same. They're just located in different positions. As long as the climate control you're buying has the exact same plugs as your W204 climate control, everything will fit. Another thing is, when you go to buy your climate control, I've noticed that there are two types of this type of climate control. There's one that has five buttons, okay? It has two little buttons and then three big buttons like this switches. There's also a dual zone and then there's a, a three zone. You wanna make sure you buy the dual zone one because our climate controls have dual zone. So you wanna make sure that you're going to buy this, the one with dual zone as well. There are pros and cons to doing this upgrade. Obviously the pros are that you get a much nicer looking um, climate control unit and everything fits as well. The cons are one, you have to modify your surrounding bezel in order to fit it. Another con also is that you lose one function. I've noticed that I have now lost the mode where air shoots to your feet and your face at the same time. I have every other function except for that function. It's just something that I wanted to make you guys aware of if you're planning to do this upgrade. And that's basically it. Everything else works exactly the same and I'm going to give you guys a demonstration in just a second. All right, so now we're back in the car. We're going to get all the plugs plugged back in. All righty, so we'll start off with the big one here. Remember, all you need to do is push straight down and the clip will come straight back up. There you go. And then you pull it back as you push down and that clips back in. The little plug on its own, it simply goes back in like this. It only goes in one way and you just have to follow how the tab looks. Okay, and then lastly, you have this one here that sits in like so okay you just push it in and then lift this tab up at the same time you push down and pull on the tab until the tab clips into place now it's just a matter of fitting this back in we line up the the tabs and we push back in look at this watch how perfectly this fits back in guys look at this Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous, guys? I'm going to start the car now. As you can see, everything comes straight on. We'll turn off this light so you guys can see. Look at that. Look how nice that is, guys. This is how it all works now. This now here is your fan control. This is your mode, so it switches between the direction of air. You have your AC like normal, you have your rear demister, your front demister, max, and your recirculation button. What I'm going to do now is hold on to the recirculation button and the tunnel mode still works. So that is fantastic. Everything that you could do with the climate control earlier still works with this climate control. That is how this climate control works and I just think that it looks so nice compared to the older one. You know, the, the extra digital buttons just give it a little bit more class and it just makes it look that much nicer. The W207 E-Class climate control fitted into the W204. And there you have it guys, how to successfully upgrade the factory W204 climate control to the newer style E-Class climate control. And honestly, it really does look a whole lot better. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time, guys, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. <laughs>